Everybody, welcome back to FTB Ocean Block, episode 8 with B Sid. And uh, last episode, we made this wonderful storage room, which has got loads of spare storage space in it. Has got most of my stuff in it. We can draw from any of the things using these uh, um, this storage scanner. Pardon me. And we do have this rather spiffy um, storage module, modular storage, which has got room for 300 stacks of things so yeah big chest basically <laughs> um now we have got this set up very simply so if i want to this is currently got actually this is currently pretty much full that has got no charge in it though so we can just press on that and this thing will quite happily charge up and sit there for ages with that power so yeah we're we're kind of there right now. It's just ticking along. Anyway, I have some plans for this episode. Um, and the plan, my big plan for this episode is we are going to start working on um, a power system which is a little bit more grunty than these. The first stage of this power system is going to require some fuel. Uh, and for doing that, we are going to need all of the stuff in here. I've pre-dyed an ender tank. Remember, we got some ender tanks from a mission quest reward um, somewhere along the line. Uh, so they've been dyed for orange, orange, orange. Uh, we've got a jar processing mod. We've got a tempered jar. We've got blue magma. And we've got an item trash can. Uh, and, oop, hello, if I can stop throwing that away. And a lava gen. And we are going to need a little bit of that as well. In here, there are five blocks of seared stone. So, we're going to pop the in there. Turn that on. And... Eventually... All of that seared stone, which is just... Um, seared bricks melted down, will go into there. And we will get a tier 2 cobble gen. Now we can make a tier 3 cobble gen by taking some cast iron gears and compressed stone. I don't think we need it. Uh, my testing has proven that this is more than adequate. So let's get one of those, get those, and start off with the core of this build, which is going to be an infinite lava generator. Um, do I want to put that there? Or do I want to bring it forward one? Arr, I really should have thought of that before I placed it. Come on back here and uh, uh, give. Uh, let's get this out here and let's put this one forward, I think. Oops, <laughs> bit me. So we've got the tempered glass jar, and that's going to go on there, and that is superheated. Uh, and we are going to have the jar controller go on here, and in front of that we're going to have an ender tank, and in front of that we are going to have a trash can. This will become the reason for this will become apparent. Now I do need a um, what I didn't make is a, a hopper or just something to put cobble in. Doesn't really matter what. So we shall go with a hopper because that's nice and simple. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and this will give us the first part of our. Uh, there we go our system which will be we can get you going into there that goes up on there like as so this obviously will create cobble much faster than that one because it's the next tier up and then we're just going to take these and pop you out like that and that's lovely. Now I could potentially actually I'll have a look. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um 
I'm being indecisive. Oh, God, here we go. Give me. Uh, uh, thank you. And that. And that. Let's spin it round because we don't really need to waste the space like that. And uh, we can, you know, just make this a little bit tidier, can't we? Like so. So, what we're going to have again is one of them in there. We're going to put our jar on there. We're going to pop this oops, this on the jar. That can go there. Hmm. That's going to be entertaining then. All right, we're going to be like that, are we? It's all right, not a problem. Not the fastest way of chopping these down, but we'll get in there. Right, and then we'll pop you in there. Pop you on there. Pop you back there. That can have that back in it. Everything is good. Trash can. And thingy. And hoofer. Now, what we are going to do then is we're going to set you to lava. Now, there is a good reason for this setup, uh, and it will become more apparent once this tank is full. So once this tank is full, what would normally happen is that this would stop because it's got nowhere else to put the lava. However, because it will create a little tank item of lava rather than liquid lava, Putting this in means that once this is full, it starts binning the little lava items. Um, what was that from? I don't recall completing. Oh, the next tier of lava gen. Okay, well, we'll take. Oh, mob fans, nice. We'll take that. So, this is basically going to continue pumping lava until this gets full um, and then it'll just continue you know there's there's no stopping it so to speak and that's the first step of our little setup here for power generation now the rest of the power gen I'm going to put somewhere else I'm just trying to think where it I mean it would fit neatly here where we could kind of block this off and backfill um, not white we don't doesn't need to be anything we can see particularly so let's go and start looking at the items here that i have got in my uh queue uh so we've got an energy cell basic which is iron basic tiny capacitors and a dielectric casing dielectric casing requires dielectric rods uh and we can convert them presumably one to one yeah and we need some iron bars. <clears throat> now I've got three iron bars. Well, I've got more iron bars, but and I do have a little bit of this dielectric paste, but not a lot of it. This is relatively inexpensive. I think it was that, is it? No, yeah, dielectric paste. Um, it's just lava, clay, and charcoal. So, got loads of that. And we need to make, let's have a look. We're going to need to make four of those with that to make that. So, hmm, I think if we do that, we'll get those. And we take one, two, three, four. That will go make me those. I actually only need two of each, but I do need one, two, three, four of those to make that bit so that's that first bit of the 
the dielectric casing we need these capacitors which require a block of redstone now this is where we run into fun because i don't think i've got anywhere close to a block i don't have anywhere close to a block of redstone <sighs> hmm. so let me just check you out we need that one of those but we take you that makes four and each one of those will make two tiny so we're going to get double what we need basically uh, and then some iron so i need this redstone that's my challenge area um, right, we should be able to see, hopefully, I don't know whether they'll flash too fast, too past, flash past too fast, or not. Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. So it is still producing, and yeah, I think it's just too, it's too quick, isn't it? Uh, uh. But it's still producing, and that's the key. It never stops. Right, we need to do the redstone thing. And for the redstone thing, we are going to need... I've got... Compressed sand. And... Let me just put those, because I've got the iron hammer. And I think, well, before we... Before we go mad, let's take one of them. It doesn't really matter. In fact, we'll just, we'll do 16, I think. Just in the first instance. And if we go one, two, let me just pop one down and try you out. Nine dust. I can work with this. That should give us a good start. So, yeah, let me run this through the uh, the sifter. And I will be right back with you. Some time has passed. I put six stacks through. Um, and this is obviously now just doing its thing again. But we've got 19 redstone now while that was working i have been doing a little bit of remodeling upstairs or well, i've done a lot of remodeling upstairs it's still not finished we, we need to put glass in if I'd, i'm first thing i don't know even if glass panes work in there because these are their chisels and bits more chisels and bits multi-parts so they may not even join up so i suppose the easiest way to find out is give it a try um but we, yeah we're expanding the the house on the top floor basically and uh you don't work okay right so we need to come up with something for that don't know what doors doors there doors there doors here nice big space big enough for a painting on this side and a painting on that side so we should in theory be able to come over here grab you and place you on no nope. there can we can we put that up one i wonder would that work you know what let's give it a try in theory, we should end up in the same spot we have. Uh, this is not terrifying at all, of course, so let's head back. A few dark spots up here, but we've still, we're going to expand this room out. We're going to expand, um, basically we're going to have this come out across here. And we're going to have a balcony that comes around like that. This area over here is going to expand up and be maybe another room and we'll have a corridor between the two. So, yeah, lots of things going on. But this is just merely decoration at the moment. I'm just, you know, it was something to keep me occupied while I was doing it. And I've expanded the dock here, so we've got, you know, plenty of room. Plenty of room for our 
sea moth and our boat there um, we can walk up this side comfortably we can walk straight up or we can walk up this side comfortably uh, and straight in so you know just a little bit of dev work on the um, on the build there but we need to push on and we needed well, let's just do let's just do eight of those for now that should be quite a bit of stuff um, we stop you we search for no we don't stone for eaves we search for redstone and we run those through and we get six per so you know that's going to come what's that six eights what 48 so that's a reasonable amount and uh, we should be able to get on with this um, power plant which is the main thrust of what I want to get done this episode the the house remodeling I can do any time really I did bring these down here they will no doubt get in the way for a while so that's fine but we were making you and for that we needed those which was four iron two of those so let me go and grab uh, have I got four iron there? Nope. Have I got? I've got some iron here. Though. So let's just grab that out. That should do the trick. So two of those. That will give me. I think four of those, and two of those will give me those, and that combined with that and four more iron will give me a starter energy cell which has got capacity of 100,000 flux energy and a max input output of 200 but if I want to up this to a basic then I need oh 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 still need one of those though ah, hmm. I could have just gone straight in at the basic. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll have to remember that when I come to the magma tool. But we want to do another one of those. So that's going to be a dielectric power casing again. Uh, which we've got that for, so that's easy. Da, 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 da. we take that convert it into another one of those that will give me everything we need to make that I'm not sure which would have been more expensive but I think maybe the, this is a, a slightly more expensive way of doing it and if we want no if we want another one of those we just need that I need some mind but ah I don't need iron, but I've got plenty of iron here. So let's just fix that. The cat snoring his head off. Can't blame him. It's what cats do, isn't it? Uh, on two of those. That will go like a so with a couple of those like that. And those. We're going to take you and, yeah, just six. So that will get us up to the next power of energy cell okay so that is those we can get rid of that now the next thing i want to do is the magmatar starter or the magmatar basic so this one does require and this is where i got myself muddled we do need the starter to get to the basic but i want a few of these <laughs> of course i do so we're going to need to make four of those which means i need to make four of those which means another well, let's do one more and let's convert those into those so one two three four uh, one two three four one two three four 
and more iron. Just grab that lot. And that should give me one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Da 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 da. Four of those. That will give me the start there. Then we need some of those, which I think I am out of. So we are going to need another block of those, which is going to require... Was it that? It was. Starter ones require two each, so that's a two. That's basically that lot, <laughs> all of them. And then we need four buckets. One, two, three, four. And I think I'm going to need more of this paste. Because we're not going to have enough. Now the recipe for the paste. Lava, clay and charcoal. Hmm, how much clay have I got? Not a lot, I don't think. Like that. I think that's... Oh no, we've got some of that, okay. Uh, two and three. Where's my fuel? Charcoal, we've got buckets of lava, that's not a problem. So we can do that. And that. And we can get those going. That's nice and relatively inexpensive. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that will give us the starter magmeter. But I don't want the starter. I want the basic, because why generate 10 flux energy, or store 10 flux energy at 15, when I can generate a hundred, or generate 70 flux energy per tick. Yeah, makes sense to me. So that one requires pretty much almost the same again, except I think we are going to need to do, I mean, that's it. It's, this is um, this is an expensive business, <laughs> but it should keep us in power for a good length of time. So, yeah, so that should give me enough of those. It does. Um, we need another four of those. We need not iron. <laughs> Definitely going through that today. And at least another set of those. 12, that's only going to give me enough for three. I need one more set, don't I? Which I've got enough for. So that's all good. Um, think. We can do that and that. That will go again. Uh, so we take four of those, four of those, four of those, and get these all up. And that takes these up to the next level. So that's all the power generator stuff that we wanted to make currently. Uh, I also need you. Um, I don't know where, as I say, I could plonk it over here and it wouldn't look out of place, but do, do I want it? Hmm. Not down this way. So, yeah, let's, let's go with that. Now, I thought I had some... Uh, didn't I have some flux plugs or something? I could have sworn I did. No, we've got flux blocks. Oh, God, yeah, so... And I've got four of those. Hang on a second, then. 
Um, we need flux. Oh yeah, this is not happening today. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but what we have got up there is get this right. We should have some of you. And what we are going to do is we're going to place you down. One will pop down there for now. One can go there. One can go there. And one can go there. We're going to stick you in the middle. We're going to bring this over the top. And we are going to stick you on there. Now these all doing nothing. Jump in here, grab that and turn that into pull mode. These are all now filling. And this is generating two and a half thousand flux energy per tick. <laughs> Our free infinite lava. We're already at a hundred thousand of a million. So that gives us a significant amount of power, which is odd really, seeing as that's what the mod is called. <laughs> now we do need to get the power out of there and into other things, but you know, let's not, let's just pat ourselves on the back a little bit over this for now, if you don't mind. Um, we've almost got a million RF in there, sorry, flux energy, same thing. Um, so that's a quarter million we'll have it in no time this is happily keeping up and what you should find if we watch this tank is we should fill up faster than this uses the power because I tested it and one of these running over that makes more lava than that uses so that's it that's a very basic power setup wiring that's going to be a different ball game entirely <laughs> um so yeah i think we have to accept that that is not going to be as straightforward as we might otherwise like but I think that's not a bad position to be in, in terms of power generation. Certainly by episode, what did I say? Six? Eight. Eight. Not six. Um, and we've got not only this generating power, but we can use this in here as well. So, you know, I could get a third thing and pipe lava straight into that, for example. I'm not going to, I'll just bucket it in for now, but I could, that doesn't mean I couldn't. <laughs> so, on that note, I'm just going to double check how long I've been recording, but I'm not sure how long it is, so I'll be back in a moment. I've got a little bit, I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bit under time, so I'm just trying to get some, I actually want a spruce sapling or two. Um, saplings we get dirt through an iron thing there we go that's the one we wanted don't really need to cut any seeds i would like to try and get uh if we look at the use of dirt in there i'd like a birch maybe a jungle and four dark oak would be really nice there's a jungle four jungle of course would be nice as well so we're just going to run that through here. There's a birch, so as long as they don't not get some, we should be good. And the reason I want spruce here, or dark oak actually, but spruce, well there's, there's one. We still need four of those. Two. And of course dark oak has got the uh, three. The habit of not being a great one for dropping four. They, that'll get us there all right um in which case we'll keep that dirt we'll pop you back in there pop you over here you go back in off you go and life is good and happy 
in you go get rid of that spruce 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 um, I think we'll try for spruce because that is I suppose dark oak is let's go with dark oak um, because I don't think we can use mineral for for what I want to do up there so we have a slight problem with this build oh, in fact it's raining we have a slight problem that this build well using oh hello using those am I going to get you down with one no not quite okay that's fine using those those um chisels a bit multi-part blocks come on as long as I get four five six as long as I come up into uh, roughly over the odds on that I'm happy so using these let me just borrow you we can make these Mr. Crayfish lines um, which is fine you know that's all good um, and these will work in these spaces well not from that side they won't but you know in theory they will providing I put them on the right side and that gives us windows not as good as glass but you know I'm not going to grumble so I need a, what another four six seven eight on this side yep uh, and two four five six doors that's that wants to be spruce though so let me just uh, grab get some of these made up and I'll be back in a moment well that took longer than anticipated uh, <laughs> quite a lot longer um, let me show you what we've done because there's been copy in here now the floor in here is jungle wood um, my favorite log um, but it's a contrast the advantage of jungle wood is you can grow the super tall double four with um, without getting pods all everywhere so that is this this is going to move we'll have uh, when we get the end painting we'll get that one over on that wall um, and just decorate this maybe put a bit of carpet down make it look nice we'll get a bit of a kitchen going over here some dining room table food prep all that stuff um, this will come in and well I, I've did I, I did a thing <laughs> um, it's not finished but I did a thing we've got you know lots of uh, space now let me go back in through here because we can get up this way and we've got the little covered walkway down here this is a little bit awkward where it transitions between the roof and the this roof but I, I quite like that that's uh, an interesting little effect uh, it comes down here we can come in and you know out that way so bang straight out here uh, or up here and around here we have got currently the bedroom um, and the room with no purpose which uh, eventually will have a purpose I, I am sure um, so I am happy with this 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 I think looks quite nice now I'm going to just go and try something something occurred to me with the um, with the generator that we have let me just double double de bubble de check um, I've got to remember where I put things of course that always helps but I should have one of those batteries and I also have a tier 2 gold jet pack which we got as a reward um, and I recalled now in here that is definitely charging um, but we've got a million in there 
wow that is that that has got some serious power requirements that is a little bit more sustainable it's 400,000 so that that will stick in there and let charge I think um, uh, because you know free <laughs> free energy uh, and if we jump into here we should have a jetpack slot now we have hover but it's also hat so I genuinely I don't I'm gonna just in fact I mean we've got quite a few hats you know we've got the the black rabbit hat we've got uh, we've got a selection we've killed quite a few critters uh, mainly rabbits and uh, things but I would like to remove hat there we go and then we'll options controls let me find H for hats menu get rid of you there so now hover mode enabled disabled jetpack enabled disabled which means that I should be able to get out here and get a better look at the world what we have created now this island needs to go but I can't break obsidian right now so let's go jetpack and hover so I extended the tower up a wee bit I've given it a little bit more shape more space and let's just try and get the uh, hoover and then we can turn the jetpack off and the hover off and I only used five percent this is going to be critical for uh, my nether exploration because we've got to get from that little island out to things but before we do that we really do need to up our game with armor and equipment because we can't keep rocking this stuff this is uh, this is embarrassing so next episode i am probably going to concentrate on a bit of decorating and armor i think because if i want to create flux network which requires me to make have these and these flux cores to make a flux plug uh, and presume that's the thing or no flux point requires a lot of redstone that's another thing we just need to keep on ramping that up but the bit we need is these and of course for these we're going to need blaze powder and ender pearls blaze powder is relatively straightforward in the nether obviously and ender pearls um i think we're going to need a mob farm let me just have a look what there's some quest oh power yes we opened those didn't we okay and oh a basic jetpack well that was not worthwhile uh, an integrated dynamics i picked up some stuff from that um yeah so what did we come out of four more mob fans that's all right we came up with an x oh that's a an augment and a basic jetpack which we're not going to really get much out of are we anyway on that note thank you very much for watching guys and uh, i will see you soon and bye for now Thank you.